morning. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Simon Property Group posting its second quarter earnings results before the opening bell. Friday morning, the company posted net income attributable to stockholders of $152.5 million or 52 cents per share versus the year ago period's net loss of $20.8 million or 8 cents per share. FFO was $487.7 million or $1.38 cents per share. Chairman and CEO David Simon commented, quote, our positive momentum from the first quarter continued. The improvement in business conditions extended into the second quarter as demonstrated by higher occupancy and sales. Sales for our malls and premium outlets during the second quarter of 2010 were 4.9 percent higher than in the second quarter of 2009 and occupancy grew 90 basis points from March 31st, 2010. Revenue growth and a continued focus on expense management resulted in positive comparable property net operating income growth in the quarter. Smart Trend is bullish on shares of Simon Property and our subscribers were alerted to buy on July 13th when the stock was at a price of $84.62. The stock has risen almost 4% since that alert was issued. Simon Property is currently above its 50-day moving average of $84.62 and above its 200-day moving average of $79.72. In last five trading sessions, the 50-day moving average has remained constant, while the 200-day moving average has risen by six-tenths of a percent. Shares of the Real Estate Investment Trust closed Thursday's trading session at a price of $87.93 per share. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. For more news and market analysis, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, That's Trade the Trend. Also find more earnings headlines on our website, That's TradeTheTrend.com.